Okay, so, well, this is an update, and sorry that I haven't been posting videos in the past couple of weeks, couple of days. Well, one reason is because I'm lazy, and two, I don't really have anything to make videos of. But, I talked to Sammy on Facebook, which is the person who created channel Cubing Battles, and also, he recently created a online cube store called onestopcubeshop.webs.com. Link for it down in the description box. I have to say, it's an okay store, but the main thing that he's sort of selling right now are modern CNC and modern things out 5 of 5. Now, prices are sort of ridiculous, I would have to say. I'm getting one from him for a testing and actually promotional to promote his store, but his prices are somewhat ridiculous because he had one version of Modern Nancy for $20, which I would have to say that's actually decent. And then another Modern Nancy, which is for $50, that is ridiculous. And then another service is where you request a mod, like request mods for the cube. Um, I'm not sure if he's referring to like actual um, puzzle modifications as in like mods that will help make the cube better. Or, if he's referring to mods that are like shape changing mods, where you actually change up the puzzle, like cut it down, fill it up, extend it some, so that the puzzle is in a totally different state than what it originally was. Yeah. And, for the Shang Tower, he selling modern Shang Tower 5 for 5, which, um, I forget what the price, I think it's like $25 for modern Shang Tower 5 for 5. Uh, better off to actually do the mod yourself. Because when I modded my Shang Tower 5 for 5, it was, like, a really semi-easy process. Here's my thing, so far, fine. Yeah. And, it's modded. And, now, I have to say, I like it. And, yeah. But, still, like that. And, also, I've been sort of really working a lot on 4x4 in the past couple weeks and days and yeah and I've been sort of switching between my Maru and Sheng Xiao um 4x4 and yeah the thing about my Sheng Xiao 4x4 is that it's modded but not fully modded and it when I was modding it I sort of ruined it and now it's sort of like in my crap but it still works but not that super well and yeah and so yeah, but my cube, my Shang Tsao 4x4, 
and supposedly a V5 4 by 4 but I don't believe that it's a V5 um, checks out 4 by 4 because I got it back in November and it was like back when the V4 were popular and here's my things out 4 by 4 semi-modded and yeah it, it actually turns really good but not really the best the main issue I have is like sort of these corner twists easily and when I turn like a layer like this sometimes I can like twist a corner around and yeah, and also my Mario 4x4 version 1 I have it's okay but when you turn these inner layers like a 2x2 they turn good but not really the best but the outer layers are the best of it but and sometimes this the middle layer of this actually comes out of alignment Sort of like this is, yeah, and where I cannot turn these. That's the main biggest issue I have with this cube, but otherwise, it's a good cube. Now, I could just scrap those and use my Rubik's. But, well, Rubik, not really that super good. Yeah, even though it turns nice from actually just doing a couple typical, like, non really speed solve, solving it, but when you actually start really speed solving it, this thing mocks up a ton. And now, a while back, I thought for fun to actually try to speed solve this and see if I can beat my personal bet or get a really decent good time, which is like, um, sub 210. And, well, I didn't really get a good time. But on 4x4, I'm trying to get a sub 2 minute, um, and I'm sort of getting to the point where I'm getting there. I've already gotten some sub 10, um, then sub 4, sub 2 minutes, 4x4 four four songs, and those were like, not only that good, but I wish I was more of sub 2 minutes, 4x4 four four songs. And also, I made a Facebook, um, cubing group almost a long time ago, now I'm starting to get back into it, and... So, if you all want to join, link, or link for it is in the description.